ASABE's fourth historic landmark, the McCormick Reaper, commemorates the opening of the era of farm mechanization. In 1794, President George Washington said, I know of no pursuit in which more real and important service can be rendered to any country than by improving its agriculture. At that time, farmers throughout the world still depended on the sickle, essentially the same tool used for centuries. In 1831, Cyrus McCormick, building on the developments of his father Robert, invented and demonstrated a practical reaper. In the years that followed, an entire industry emerged that was devoted solely to making agricultural production more efficient and easing the many burdens of the farmer. McCormick's invention and the industry forever changed the world. Building on his 1834 patent, throughout the 1840s, McCormick continued to improve the reaper. In 1847, the inventor, now also a skilled businessman, moved to Chicago, at the time a city with one paved street. He established large centralized works for manufacturing agricultural implements. The McCormick Reaper, the old reliable model, sold well as a result of savvy and innovative business practices. He offered no haggle pricing, credit and financing, money back guarantees on performance and interchangeable replacement parts. The Reaper had an influence on the Civil War. Despite labor shortages, the ability of the North to produce wheat continued unabated. As the Commissioner of Agriculture estimated in 1862, each Reaper released five men for service. Increased competition led to more and improved machines for mowing and binding. The ability to respond to any sort of challenge was a strength that helped Cyrus McCormick establish the world's most successful farm machinery business. Before 1871, nothing seemed to impede the progress of either McCormick or Chicago. But the Great Chicago Fire leveled the reaper works and over three square miles of the city. With the encouragement of his wife Nettie, the 62-year-old McCormick built new and expanded works. Following the fierce harvesters' business wars of the late 1800s, in 1902, five companies, once fierce rivals, consolidated to form the International Harvester Company. The principal agents in the formation of International Harvester were sons of the harvesting pioneers, Cyrus Hall McCormick and Charles Deering. In 1931, ASAE helped celebrate the Reapers' 100th year by sponsoring a pageant of progress for harvesting machines. Over 1,000 interested engineers and educators gathered at Ames, Iowa. Among them were Cyrus McCormick, Jr., shown here kneeling at the platform of his grandfather's invention, J.B. Davidson, the first president of ASAE, and R.W. Trullinger, then president of ASAE, are to the left. In 1972, ASAE dedicated this landmark plaque inscribed with the words, Walnut Grove, where Cyrus McCormick invented and in 1831 demonstrated the first successful reaper to introduce the era of farm mechanization, is designated an historic landmark of agricultural engineering.